You hear that? We cover a lot of musical styles here at My Juke. Blues, Americana, bluegrass. We don't usually cover something like this. If you notice something else, there's no vocals. Yeah, you could say that they're uh, lyrically challenged. Uh, the band is So I Had To. Yeah, that's how you spell it. That's what, at least what they call themselves from now. And you listen, it sort of grows on you a little bit. A little bit of funky bass, some rhythm, a little bit of techno. So, you know, I could listen to this for a while. But the question is, can you listen to it for an hour concert? Or do you need a little help from Brewer's Art? We'll find out on My Juke TV. So welcome back. Um, like I said earlier today, we, uh, we normally focus on blues, bluegrass, and Americana artists at My Juke, and so this is the first time we've had a, a chance to have a band such as So I Had To. And uh, so where it really struck me is, is, how do you guys describe your sound? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, um, uh, it's instrumental. Um, it's this is what I call it, lyrically challenged. Yeah. No, definitely not lyrically challenged. We're like lyrically free because you know most singers are kind of a pain. Um, it's uh, I don't know. Help me out here. It's kind of like uh, f I think the uh, the the age old adage that we've been using is that it's like a cross between um, Tool and Pink Floyd with no words. And so I think maybe not Tool. I don't like that reference. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I just don't like that band. Man, we're like five minutes in. This interview sucks. <laughs> no, I mean it's uh, it's we we get a little bit spacey. We get a little bit melodic. Um, it's pretty rhythmic, but you know, another way to look at it is like theme music to a film. Maybe um, it's it's very mood oriented. Um, there's a lot of emotion to it, I and mean, we try to tell stories with music. I mean, there's there's certain chord progressions, there's certain uh, you know instrument combinations that can definitely affect your mood. And uh, we really try to tell stories with the way that we write music and the way that we play music is really like to make people sort of understand like an underlying emotion, but not actually tell them a story with the singer saying, okay, I went here, I met this girl, we went on a date, we broke up and that was it. You know, we really try to tell stories more about like, you know, try to give people kind of the impression of whatever emotion we're trying to convey and then let them kind of tell the story for themselves. Right. right? And, and, we give, and we give them a head start with the song title. Mm -hmm. so, it's something about the way we parted, and then we play it. And so, how do you compose something like that? It takes a while. Um, we uh, we sort of sit down. Um, you know, we kind of come up with sort of like an idea of sort of like okay, like you know, we got a lot of songs that are pretty somber. Let's do something that's really um, triumphant, right? And so, we'll, we'll th that'll be sort of like the we'll start out with an adjective, and then we'll try to write a song sort of about that. Right. And then, really, the song will start to write itself. It's really like, ooh, you know, this is really cool, and this is like the part where. The dude is like running through, and he's got a sword, and he's trying to get the you know all his friends out of the den of vipers or something, you know, whatever. I mean, like that's I think it's been said something like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like so, we'll actually be like you know, oh yeah, this is what this part is, and and so we, we kind of visualize sort of what these parts mean. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's all written collectively. It's not like you know somebody comes in with an idea and says, okay, here's the song. You know, like it's we all sit down, we all just jam until. You know, something sounds good. And there's a lot of improvisation just when you're playing. When we're writing, there's, a, there's writing. some imp improv, yeah. but for the most part, we, we try to keep it structured uh, so we know where we're at. And we, we want to write a song that's uh, pleasing to the ear to any listener, not just, you know, a, a, a music, you know, nerd, for lack of a better term. Like, yeah. we, 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 want, we want everybody to appreciate it. So it's like, wherever, whatever sounds best, and then we take it from there. So, let's start, so how long have you been playing together? Uh, we've been playing together for four years. Yeah, and, just, yeah, four just years. a little over four years. So how did you guys come together? Um, well, I, I actually um, went to school with Duff years ago, and we had a mutual friend that at the time was working for you, Chris Donahue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he, had, he had mentioned... Um, Good guitar player. Mentioned, you know, that, that they were looking for somebody, so I looked it up, saw it on, uh, you know, I guess it was MySpace or something like that, and sure enough, they were, so I just sent an email over, and... Um, Set up the audition. And I think um, 
you know, Honus was friends. I was brought in by our old guitar player yeah. that I used to work with at a guitar factory. And actually, Lucas and I were looking for, we were looking to start a band, and um, I ended up auditioning for, for So I Had To, and got the job, and then, you know, Lucas does his own thing, and I played with So I Had To for, for the last four years, and then we brought Lucas on uh, in the last Hatched year. Years, yeah, yeah, so. Was this something that you guys, you know, collectively decided, hey, wouldn't this be a neat thing to do, or is it just like one idea, and then you bring in another person? Uh, well, the band's evolved over the years, so, yeah, yeah. Um, and it, the, ch the, the sound has changed with the different players because everybody plays different. Everybody so basically, the everyone buys into the concept of what you, yeah, the framework yeah, of yeah. what you guys want. And then we, yeah. we play the way we play, so. And I mean, I think that's, that's one of the, the best things about our sound is that it really is a composite of everyone's style. Because they're um, all, we all have very, very different likes and likes, dislikes. Well, let's backgrounds get into that. I mean, what did you listen to when you were younger? really got you into music? Uh, when I was younger, I mean, I was more into, you know, Led Zeppelin, um, Pink Floyd, Pearl Jam, um, things things of that nature. And then I, as I got older and went away to college, I started really getting into um, uh, progressive, prog rock. Um, started listening to a lot of math rock, odd time stuff, um, but then also a lot of jam bands. So I'm bringing forward kind of more of a, uh, like a noodly mentality than than somebody like, you know, like a Honus, which is much more structured. So it's kind of good because he, he kind of reins me back and says, no, you're doing too much or whatever it might be. Yeah. So I guess, what did you listen to? Uh, I, I started out as like a little metalhead back in, in the 80s and then it just kind of morphed into punk and that's, that's pretty much what I listen to and enjoy is like old school punk music. And even today? And today there's a couple new bands that I like, out, like, uh, like Anti-Flag and Strike Anywhere and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I like stuff that's fast, heavy, and has a good melody. And w where it comes into this band is like I will bring in the influences of playing fast and and kind of blend it with what everyone else is doing. And uh, and th the melody kind of happens through you know this you know the way we write and the way Tim plays his guitar, the way Duff plays his bass. And uh, you know, I'm just sitting there trying to just count to four and not speed it up. So, <laughs> so Duff, who did you listen to when you were younger? Uh, when I was younger, man, I, um, I had the Jackson 5 Victory album was my first uh, vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> <Awesome. Totally. laughs> yeah. The picture disc, it was really cool. Yeah. I think it was great. I still had the um, oh yeah, totally. Man. So I grew up like actually listening to like, old school hip hop. Uh, that was like my big thing was you know, old school, like Tri Call Quest, uh, Eric B and Rakim, like old school. And then from there I kind of moved into uh, classic rock. I started listening to a lot of Zeppelin, Floyd, ACDC. Um, you know, just all the, the sort of good classic rock bands that, like, you know, all like the older dudes that went to our school listened to. And then um, from there, it kind of moved into more like, you know, once I actually started playing bass, I started listening to things more like things like uh, bands like Clutch, um, bands like Fu Manchu, uh, Nebula, um, Caius. You know, that that whole sort of genre of sort of like desert rock. Um, and then like getting into things like Radiohead and Psycho Ross and then Explosions in the Sky and Mogwai and sort of like How all How do you have time to listen to all that? Like all of our eyeballs, I think between like yeah, the four yeah. of us, our eyeballs are probably going to just taking over the world. Yeah, dude, we got, we got <laughs> so many different bands that we listen to. I mean like, you know, I, I'll listen to anything from Nancy Sinatra to, you know, Burnt by the Sun. You know what I mean? Just, now that you can just plug in and steal someone's entire music collection, it's pretty easy to end up with more music than you'll ever listen to. Mm -hmm. and, I like Nancy Sinatra though. I, oh, there's still some <laughs> stuff on tour. Yeah. Yeah. I probably still have stuff in my iPod yeah, I've never listened to. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and so, Lucas, what did you? Uh, um, to I've you? been all over the place uh, growing up. Probably a lot of just standard like Nirvana and stuff for my age. Uh, real big in old Alice in 